Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I knew this. Wizard. Okay. Thank you, Captain Obvious. When you look at the finale of this show, you can pretty much call it Captain Obvious. <laughs> Seres imaginários que procuram os artigos. Há tantos seres imaginários. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Fader J. Back like I left something, and I'm glad you're here. Yes, I'm glad you're here, and I want to break down to you that the Rings of Power finale came out, and it was absolutely trash garbage. It was absolutely trash. I will tell you this, though. It was some brief synopsis of things that I like, but it was hot, boo-boo, trash, garbage, Maggot juice, raccoon dung at the bottom of the dumpster. It absolutely destroyed Tolkien's lore. Is no way around it. I'm going to point out the things in this finale where they messed up bad within the books. And just looking at the overall spectrum of this whole entire show, it was absolutely garbage. It was absolutely bad. It was absolutely horrible. And it was torture watching this. And they setting it up for a season two. And that's where they messing up. Because they're trying to be slick and make it to where they're trying to make the token lore more stronger. But it still has those loose ends of made up characters, made up story, and it just don't mesh with well together just when they try to bring you in into the show guess what it still end up being dark boo boo it's just like when you eat a salami sandwich with a bunch of cheese on it and you're eating that sandwich aggressively and then you go out throughout your day and you're having a good time and then all of a sudden that pain that short pain hits you at the bottom of your belly and you know what's going to come out that's the same thing that ring of power is it's the stuff that comes out when you know your stomach is toe up that's what rings of power is but I have went too long with that. This is what I need you to do. I need you to watch this video all the way from the beginning, all the way to the end. Why? Because I'm begging you to. And another reason why is because in the YouTube algorithm, it helps me out. Rings of power. No, 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 no. Fans of the books like you, token books. It brings more people in like you who disgust this show, who hates this show. And... It helps me a lot greatly. Also, what I need you to do, I need you to like, I need you to subscribe, I need you to hit that notification bell. Because every time you hit that notification bell, it makes me feel oh so good and oh so swell. And I don't even know why at this exact moment, I have my eyes closed. But it feels good to know that you hit that notification bell. It's the only way you would know that I got new videos out because sometimes YouTube does the fool when it comes against me. Now let's break down this finale. The finale, it was pretty much crazy. We didn't get anything from the dwarves. Even though the dwarves was the best thing about this show. I couldn't believe it. I thought the black dwarf Princess Deza, I thought she was going to be atrocious, but she turned out to be the dopest thing in this show, the best thing in this show. So it was kind of sad to see them not a part of this, but the main focus of this show is the elves are trying to save themselves. They're trying to maintain their essence within Middle Earth, and we got a lot of revelations out there. Also, this story has to do with the stranger, and the stranger, the stranger turns out to be somebody we know in the books the stranger turns out to be an estari he happens to be a wizard we'll speak about that later but the episode breaks out where these princesses or elves or whatever they are the creepy looking women they're looking for sauron and they come across the stranger now the stranger he is stunned with these women. These women got powers, magical powers. I don't know if they're a cult of Sauron, but they're looking for Sauron. When they saw the stranger there among the Harfoots, 
they said Lord Sauron. Now, I knew when they said that, that was not Sauron at all. I knew that. I knew that was just a little ruse that they were trying to deflect and throw you off in the show. But you can't throw me off in the show because I knew the entire time who was going to be Sauron, who was also revealed in the show as well. Now, I will give you this, ladies and gentlemen. Within this show, we had a, a, a great fight. Within this episode, we had a pretty cool fight between that starry looking character and i'm going to give you the name you already know what name i'm going to say because i've been telling you this for months who is going to be in the show and this character right here is actually in the wrong timeline but i will continue the wizard fight was dope and you saw a closer connection after this stranger character beat the women he had a closer connection with the hobbits now what only a starry character out there has a connection with the hobbits exactly they made it that obvious and they ruined the timeline because this certain a starry character that we're talking about he only showed up in the third age not the second age and the second age and the third or third age is hundreds of years apart from each other yeah so they messed up bad on that part it's always like that in this rings of power show what they would do have something dope then they'll bring you back the reality that this show sucks and shouldn't be happening. Now, we go back to where the elves are. The elves are trying to take the mithril from the dwarves. And it's supposed to help them. It's supposed to help Mother Earth. It's supposed to make time and the realm of time just really uh, help the elves so they can stay on Mother Earth. So all of them don't have to go to Valinor. Uh, I don't know where that story came from It didn't come from the books And again they're destroying things But I did like um, The making of the rings But I'm going too far So Galadriel she's very suspicious Against Hal Brand You know the made up character Hal Brand She figures out Looking at these scrolls of the Sutherlands That the line of the kings Was broken thousands of years ago So she's suspicious, suspicious About this Hal Brand guy And this Hal Brand guy You know he has all this clever stuff These clever thoughts And she's really thinking who is this guy So she looked it up and she said this guy is not who he seems to be so she confronts him who are you really who are you really who are you really that's what kept going on in the show he was like you know who i am i'm a man of many names now if they would have start off and just said this guy was Anatar, I would have been cool with that. I looked more into the lore, even though I am a hardcore token fan. But I looked more into the lore, and Anatar was not an elf. Anatar was... He could have been a man, you know, he was a Maiar, he was like Gandalf the Grey, pretty much an angel-like character, but I always thought he was an elf since he hung out with the elves all the time, but the elves always was suspicious with them, so that kind of was close within the books, but Halbrand, he pretty much explained to himself who he was, and then he took a took her through this sequence of being in Valinor and she was talking to her dead brother and then they was back on the ship and he revealing her to her that he never did lie the only thing that I hate about this is they didn't call the character Anatar they called him Halbrand and the only reason why I'm gonna tell you why thank you for asking the reason why is because they didn't acquire the rights to the name Anatar so instead of calling him something more clever than Hal Brand, what they did was called him something different, their own creation, so they can make merchandise. And that's what it's all about, is selling books, selling podcasts. And when you're watching the show, they're just they're promoting everything on the show. Oh, buy this new book. Oh, listen to the podcast companion. No, I don't give a freak about that. I want Tolkien Lord. Promote his books. Promote the Cimmerillians. Promote that. Don't put Rings of Power cover on a crappy show don't uh, don't take rings of power covers and put it on classic books that's what i meant to say sorry about that i got i'm too mad right now i'm trying to keep my composure low because i'm pretty much going to scream and rant in a moment right now i'm really just gonna do a hulk hogan and rip off my shirt and go in on this stupid show 
How can you mess up a great thing like the second age? It's too many epic things that went on. So after her confrontation with Halbrand, Halbrand disappears. Galadriel, she wakes up and she's got it on her mind. We need to turn this thing into a ring. Mithral into the ring. We need to. Halbrand gave them a suggestion. He told them that they don't need Mithral. They just need to take out the flaws of the Mithral and increase it with something else. And that was pretty stupid. It just destroyed the whole plot with the dw the dwarves and the elves. But anyways, they start beginning to make these rings, and you see Anatar. I mean, you see Halbrand in Mordor. You see things shaping up, and <laughs> this show was just so weak. And also, P.S. It was another part in the in the show towards the end where the stranger he doesn't say his name is Gandalf, but we all know at the end of the day his name is Gandalf. He said, I'm a story. Uh, a story means wise man, but in your tongue it means wizard. I mean, you grab Gandalf because you wanted people to relate to a character in the show. This is the thing about it. The second age had a total different cast of people. The first age had a total different cast of people. But you want me to be honest with you? From a token fan, the first age and the second age had the dopest people in Middle Earth. And Amazon, you ruined that. So it's going to be pretty amazing to see what you do with this show. Also, a funny thing happened. The Black Hobbit. He died in this episode within the fight with the wizard and the wizard women. So I guess that explains at the end of the day why there are no more black hobbits in Middle Earth. <laughs> this show was bad, man. And it drained a lot out of me. It's like I had on one of the rings of power and Sauron, he put on the, the, the one ring and I turned into a ring wrath watching the show. I turned into a Nazgul, man. This show was just, Tolkien is supposed to be inspirational. It's supposed to be motivational. The, the Aragorn is the most perfect man on this earth. The most self-disciplined man. The, the most sacrificial man to put his, his, his others before him. And they just ruined it, man. It was so many great lessons in this show. But all they want to do is make an action show. They want to make Galadriel the leading lady and show that she's better than men. It is no reason why people all over the, the world, by the millions, should hate this show. It's no reason at all, man. You ruined something perfect. And I'm just... <sighs> I'm looking forward to that Lord of the Rings animation that's coming out, but man, they, they, they big corporations, man. I'm sick of them ruining great, fantastic stuff. You got Lucasfilm, but they destroyed Star Wars. Marvel, they don't destroy the MCU and the comic book characters. You got DC, they don't destroy their movies. It's just... Does it make sense to me when you want to put out these propagandas and real world stupid stuff in there? That's where it should stop. This is a fantasy. It's called fantasy for a reason. Tolkien set the stone when it came to fantasy. It's just sad, man. And I... <laughs> It's just it's just really sad. People hated this show. It was no good episodes. Yes, it was good elements. I'm not being completely biased. It had good elements, but this show was terrible. It was awful and is very depressing. You guys let me know what you think about the finale of the show. Did you think it was absolutely dope? Or did you think this whole entire season was not needed? It was absolutely terrible. And season two is going to be even worse. Or you think season two is going to be absolutely dope? Get back at your boy Fader J. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that notification bell. Because every time you hit that notification bell, it makes your boy Fader J feel oh so good. And also oh swell, and I'm out of here, Ninja Banner.